Okay, one thing that we promised like two episodes ago that we have to get to this time is my list of what to get the man who has everything. Yes. So as a guy who's been asked that question in his life a few times, I've got five things you can get the person in your life who has everything. Guy, girl, doesn't matter. Mm. Number one, get him something to keep it in. So what has he got a lot of? A bunch of power tools and stuff? A bunch of sockets? You know, just a 10 millimeter socket drawer? Anything that's going to help him organize what he's got. Kind of like when Jim buys Dwight that little acrylic case for his Dwight bobblehead. Yeah. If he collects collectibles, a display case would be great. Mm -hmm. You know, Legos, Star Wars stuff, whatever. A bully barn for all his outdoor stuff, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, a a terabyte or what are they up to now? Two or three or five terabyte backup hard drive. Wild, by the way. If what he cares (laughs) about is his data. Mm -hmm. Number two, get him something to maintain it. Does he have a brand new car or truck? Get him car wash passes. This there is now go. like last uh, gift guide episode. We were talking about Johnston and Murphy shoes from Farrell's Clothing in Idaho Falls and how they're kind of super spendy, but shoe polish ain't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there's black, there's brown, there's dark brown. Get him some batteries if he's got, you know, gadgets. Get him charging cables that can go to multiple devices, that kind of mm-hmm. stuff. Number three, get him something to complement his favorite thing. Oftentimes, when you buy something, There's all these little accessories that go with it. You know, you buy a brand new phone, you can get the new AirPods or whatever that come with it. Mm -hmm. And a case. I mean, maybe they're like my dad and they just want one of those big bulky otter boxes that have those special clips so you can clip it to your belt like your Batman. Uh Uh-huh. Even those otter boxes can run into money now too. Oh, I know. I know. But are you going to spend a hundred bucks or 200 bucks to protect a $1,200 device? You betcha. Right, right. I think it's a fair trade. And, you know, accessories for the car, computer, gaming system, phone, boat, grill, shop, office, all that stuff. Gun. Ammo is always a good gift. Yeah. Number four, get them an experience. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of fun things you can do, you know, that you can even pretend to do. Like there's these discovery flights. I got one of those one year where you go up in a plane and eventually the pilot looks and goes, okay, we're safe. Now you fly it. And you get to go, whoa, whoa, up, down, <gasps> pitch, yaw, roll. It's it's a lot of fun. That sounds really fun. Or snowboarding, whitewater rafting, scuba diving, indoor go-karts, paintball, tickets to his favorite event, a weekend away. He'll appreciate the experience. And fifth and finally on my list of what to get the person who has everything, pay for something he already does or she already does. A man's got to eat. Mm-hmm. You know? What's her What's her favorite restaurant? What's his favorite restaurant? Pay for their gym membership or Disney Plus. Honestly, if I got a big old gas card for Christmas, I'd be a happy camper. Maybe he wants an Apple Music subscription. You know, a magazine subscription, gym membership. Uh, does he have to pay for parking meters? You know, mm-hmm. get him a $100 Visa gift card he can use in one of those things. Right. Honestly, I miss my Spotify so bad. Like, that's a great gift. Yeah. Yeah. Basically... When you pay for something they already do, they get more money to go and buy the stuff that they buy, creating the endless circle of, well, they already have everything that they have. (laughs) There you go. Happy shopping. 